In May of 2014, tests on three wells at Pease revealed elevated levels of PFAs in the drinking water, chemicals that are linked to cancer. They had come from foam used to put out aircraft fires when it was an Air Force base. Pease among the first in the country grappling with how to deal with the issue. Didn't necessarily want to be a trendsetter, but you know, that happened to be the, the case, unfortunately. They immediately shut down the well with the highest level and began working with the Air Force, DES, EPA and regulators to blaze a trail for making the water safe. We've got a technical team that, you know, can sometimes be upwards of 30 people, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of heads together to, to figure this out. Pease became a pilot for testing a new resin technology, now ready to break ground on a facility that employs it. And we'll have uh, essentially three filters like this, but another dozen smaller filters that have a new technology which uh, uses resins and will be specifically designed for uh, the removal, the uh, treatment of the PFAS. It's been a slow process because every step we've taken care to make sure that we're doing the right thing. A woman leading the fight for blood testing and monitoring of the 1,500 with elevated levels, calling it a positive step. A lot of eyes are on peas. I think we're a model community of how things should be done and can be done. Over 125 military installations are now facing the issue. The Air Force has agreed to reimburse Portsmouth $14 million to build the facility and oversee it. It'll break ground in the spring and will take about two years to complete. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.